For 75 years, the family behind Technum Aircraft has conceived, designed, and certified light aircraft meant for recreational flying, first for racing and other sport, and then for cruising and personal travel. Based near the coast of southern Italy, near Napoli and Capua, Technum today continues to create a line of light singles and twins fit for many missions, from the Light Sport P2008 to the Light Commuter Twin, the P2012 Traveler. We had the chance to visit Technum for its 75th anniversary celebration and to fly its latest airplane targeting the training mission, the P-Mentor. The two-seat design carries on the legacy of the brothers who founded Technum, Luigi and Giovanni Pascali. I did a demo flight from the grass runway at Capua, Technum's headquarters, and the thoughtfulness of the airplane's layout came through. It's not a light sport airplane by U.S. standards, but about 270 pounds heavier, enabling more equipment and better finishings inside. With training details like the gear handle to simulate retractable gear, its place in a flight school lineup makes sense, without the expense of maintaining a retractable gear single. Starting up the 100 horsepower Rotax 912 engine is a simple process, with a couple of nuances. You first flip a toggle switch to energize the starter in addition to having the master switch on. Then it's both FADIC lane A and B switches on, fuel pump on, and push the red starter button to swing the prop, which caught quickly on the warm engine. We took up just a little more than one third of the runway on the takeoff roll. Not bad considering the condition of the turf, which appears to be a running source of amusement amongst the Technum pilots and their dealers. I had the controls through the climb out to 3,000 feet for our high work, and we saw 450 to 700 foot per minute at the VX of 70 knots and power set at 28.9 inches and 5,550 RPM. During the steep turns, the controls felt solid and even between aileron and pitch. However, I found the P-Mentor easy to keep coordinated both in 30 and 45 to 50 degree bank turns. Stalls broke mildly and more of a mush in the approach to landing stall with a level break in the departure stall. Recovery came swift and sure. I performed a few additional coordination maneuvers, seeking the marriage between aileron and rudder, and with a brisk roll left and right back to center. A nice easy approach speed of 70 knots kept us on a smooth path to the touchdown point. We pushed the power up for a touch and go. During a low pass, I flew just off the deck by about 15 feet so I could continue to get a sense of things. I pulled up into a nice flyby for the folks on the ground. It didn't take long to find the approach attitude that seemed to give the best mix of low speed and positive control authority on final. I aimed for the good line in the grass, and I was rewarded with a pleasant touchdown, stick in my lap and a little bit of power in to keep us going as the tufts of turf snatched at the tires. We readily made the turnoff just past midfield to taxi back into the factory, and the pilot I was flying with was all smiles as I did, a mark of approval that goes beyond translation. That grin matched my own as the P-Mentor had been a true pleasure to fly. And yes, it would likely be just as much fun to use mentoring new pilots. The dreams and inspiration of Luigi and Giovanni Pascali truly live on in the P-Mentor.